all right then so now all you have to do is to search go open up your browser and search for next js route groups so you need to search for next js route groups because that is how we are going to create our applications so create this because grouping the routes is really important because creating a route in the next days it's quite easy all you have to create a new project a uh, new, new folder inside this app and you can simply write that pro folder name in the url and that is going to open that uh, route in the page so if you look at it over here you can see how that routing group is going to happen see inside the app we can have your layout how the entire layout of the page is going to be the website is going to be and they're having two different groups over here marketing and shop inside that marketing they have the about and they have that uh, content of that about route and how you can access the about slash about that's it that will directly takes you to that specific marketing group and it will go to, go to the about this is how it's going to look on the url but when you need to access it inside the uh, project file you should need to mention it slash marketing slash about but the user doesn't need to mention it slash marketing slash about something like that okay so let's see how to create this for our custom authentication in this case all you have to do is to create the grouping first so what i'm going to do is so i'm just going to create a new folder over here and i'm going to create the auth group auth and inside this auth from here onwards we need to uh, go with our clerk authentication documentation over here see this is the one so first what i need to do i need to create this sign up page so i'm going to create this sign up page with exactly the same name inside this auth route save it sign up and inside that i'm going to create an another folder with exactly the same folder structure how they mentioned it over here open and close the square bracket inside that open and close the square bracket one more time and spread it out by adding three different dots and then sign hyphen up sign hyphen up and inside that specific folder i'm going to create a new file called page.tsx okay so this is how it's going to be and do the same thing for one more time which is for our sign in so i'm going to right click the auth folder and create a new folder called sign in hyphen in sign in and here again one more folder open and close the square bracket open and close it triple dots s i g n hyphen i n sign in and inside here right click a new file called page dot tsx now we do have two different for page.tsx for sign up and one for sign in so let me get back over here and let's copy this file sign up and paste it in the sign up page and let's get back to the sign in copy this and paste it in the sign in page save this now we have ourselves the group of routing so it's working perfectly hope so and if you scroll down all the way to the bottom so you need to add these two things in your environment variable so let's copy this because that's the path of your sign in and sign up page add it over here all right so let's clear it and let's run it npm run dev now it should not go to this routing it will go uh, it will open up our sign up page so let's close that one and let's open it localhost 3000 and now it should take the user to this custom sign in page you can see localhost slash sign in and it will be redirected over here and now if you jump back to the sign up page you can do it over here and back and forth it will always be inside your route it will not go outside of your route okay so now if i want to bring this in the center all the way up all i can say over here like uh, i can wrap this into a division and i can put it over there but the problem is i need to redo the same stuff for what for sign up so what i'm saying is i can create a div div and i can put it inside over here and i can make sure that is flex item center and justify center and height of course it's going to be full or height of course it's going to be the screen height you can see I can bring it inside over here but that is not needed right because we don't want to do that I, if i want to do the same thing for sign up what i need to do i need to do that same stuff again that uh, because in next.js that's the reason we do have the layout because what i'm going to do is inside this auth group i'm going to create uh, myself a new layout for the authentication inside over here i'm going to create a new layout let's say layout dot tsx 
okay so this layout.tsx it's going to be uh, having ourselves um, it's going to have this custom uh, layout and all those things so what you need to do is here sfc so basically this is the react code snippet so you can go ahead and install that snippet from here simply search for react snippets snippets so that you can find that react snippets so you can go ahead and install that one es7 react redux snippets this is the one i'm using so please go ahead and install that one and here what i'm going to do is for this it is going to be the authentication layout and here i'm going to create that div okay and this div is going to be having the class name as height of course it's going to be the screen height and flex and item center and justify everything in the center like this and it's going to render the component inside it right so in order to render your component we need to get the children and i'm going to create the children prop and basically this children prop is going to be the type of children is going to be the type of react dot react node and inside here we need to bring that children let's render that children so now we can able to see whatever the routes which is coming inside in it it's going to return that page and that page it's going to render inside over here okay so and uh so i can we, we can do one more thing what we can do is we can wrap these two routes also into this specific because if you're going for multiple routes for like forget password and all those things if you are doing everything customized in that case instead of going for every subfolder something like this you can wrap this thing entirely into this as a routes and you can keep it in inside that routes you can have your um the sign in and sign up page and all those things right so what you can do is create a new another group into it inside it called routes and you can put this folder into it move it and you can bring that also into this route move it something like this now auth has its own layouts and it's having the routes as a group so because the reason why we are giving this as a group because i don't want to slash but type the routes as slash routes and all these things inside here we have the sign in and sign up so now we have a clean very very clean structure okay so let me reload my window okay so I, I don't see any type issues and all these things whenever you're moving this project route folder please make sure that you stop your server so i'm going to clear it and i'm going to rerun it so if everything is configured perfectly including the auth layouts and everything so this makes sure now if you refresh it you should be able to see the same page over here okay so now the user will not be navigated unless the user is authenticated himself so now if i click this continue with google it's going to ask me to sign in with my google account so let me authenticate myself and now i'm authenticated and now you can see it's showing me that click me option so if you wish to bring that uh, the user profile button so all you have to do is to user button from the clerk chairs save these changes so that is going to bring you the user profile button over here like this if you click this you should be able to see all the user information over here and you can able to click sign out once you've been successfully signed out you will be immediately pushed back to the protected route because you are signed out so now the user can't able to access it he needs to log in okay so we successfully configured the routings and everything for the clerk authentications now let's go ahead and move on to the authentications or move on for the next main part for our dashboard authentication and that's what we are going to do now